Well, a lot of exciting hardware is awaiting us, but today I'd like to squeeze a small short tutorial video in between. Sure, not all of you will be into this topic, let alone need it, but hey, I'm sure there is someone out there that might find this handy in the future. So today I'll do a short experiment. How does one recover lost files from USB flash drives and or SD cards? We've dealt with data recovery on hard drives often enough now, but even on those small things such as USB drives and even SD cards, no matter the size, microSD for instance, we might have some pretty important data on there as well. Especially with SD cards in our phones, we tend to not always care too much about backups. However, many of us do in fact store crucial important data on microSD cards. Now let's say those files were suddenly gone, maybe because of a software bug or you simply accidentally formatted it. It would be a real shame and depending on the importance of the data, there might be time to panic a little bit. Now as the last time with recovering data from hard drives, I'll use the same tool that goes by the name of EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard. It features a really easy to use user interface and gets the job done fairly quickly. And as you've probably already noticed in the beginning, it's one of those videos I get a bit of money for my work. EaseUs kindly sponsored today's video. I am aware not all of you will agree with this and will bash me for that. Sure, I understand and respect your opinions. But with so much new hardware in the market, every penny counts for me. Because as you may know, the majority of the expensive hardware I pay all out of my own pocket. So I can bring you guys totally unbiased, neutral reviews. So thanks goes out to all of you that understand. But enough talking, let's do something. As always, no matter what drive or storage media we are talking of, if it's affected by data loss, it's best to stop using that affected drive such as a hard drive, USB flash drive or SD card. Under no circumstances should you ever write to such affected storage media, because the lost files aren't actually gone yet. They however can easily be overwritten by new files and then they're gone for real. There are a bunch of tools out there that can be used to recover data. Some of it is free, some of it you need to pay for. Today, however, I'll be using the trusty EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard. Just in case you're interested as well, I've put the download link into the video description. Once the download is complete, you can go through the easy and quick installation steps of the tool. Please never install onto the affected drive. There also are a bunch of languages to choose from, but I'll stick to English. After the installation, the tool immediately starts up and we get a glimpse on the available upgrade possibilities. With the free version, you can recover up to two gigabytes worth of data. Well, actually it's 500 megabytes, but how you can easily make it two gigabytes, I'll show you in a second. In fact, I have prepared a nice experiment. I put the same exact data on both the USB flash drive as well as on the microSD card for music albums of two of my favorite bands and a random PDF file. But what's going on now? I accidentally start moving my mouse. Oh no, it seems I go for a clean format. Is that possible? Oh yes. Windows doesn't lie. And for some reason the same thing happens with my microSD card. Oh no, did I just erase my data? Yes and no. Don't panic, the data should still be there as long as it doesn't get overwritten. First off, let's come to the rescue of the USB drive data. This time around we aren't dealing with any hard drives in the data recovery wizard, instead it's a USB flash drive. And as you can see, I'm doing this with the free version. Now in order to unlock those additional free 1.5 gigabytes recovery capacity, you simply need to share the software via social media, either via Facebook or Twitter. Alright, that's it. We can now begin with the scan. Depending on the USB drive's capacity and speed, that can take a while. We'll fast forward. Once the scan has completed, in my case, we see different directories. There could easily be more if you had more data on there. So in order to not have to look through every folder manually and therefore waste time, you can either search for specific files or simply let the software display you the most recent files. In my case that would apparently be directory zero. And yes, indeed, these are my deleted files. I love the fact we get a preview feature for all kinds of data. That can come in really handy. Now in order to fully recover those files, I simply click on recover. Then you can choose where you want to store 
sorted data. And voila, it's all recovered now. As you can see, as proved, the files are completely healthy, no damage, no thousands of clusters, the files play back perfectly. But now to the SD card. Actually, we have to go through the same steps. The only difference is that it can take quite a bit longer than with USB flash drives, since many micro SD, SDHC, SDXC cards and so on tend to be slower when talking of performance, meaning the scan and the recovery process does take longer. But the data recovery wizard did once more find the files that were removed by formatting. The files are perfectly readable and can now be saved in a secure place on your hard drive, for instance. Of course, there are more tools out there, not just this one by ESAS. There are alternatives. Nevertheless, what makes the data recovery wizard by ESAS very appealing to me, in my opinion, is the simplicity of the user interface and how fast it works. You'll quickly find the files you're looking for without having to look through tons of data of the whole scan. I really like that. So once more, this tool did manage to recover my so-called lost files. Well, I didn't expect anything else, to be honest. As long as the data on the USB flash drive or SD card doesn't get overwritten in the meantime, that is. Or as long as there's no physical problem with the drive or card. In most cases, the data can be recovered with a 100% success rate. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope I could prepare some of you guys for such an event, should you ever need something like this. The download link is down below in the video description. And all oh right, please don't forget making backups. It can be a lifesaver. And with that said, see you in the next video. And big thanks to the loyal supporters of this channel.